Hey, it's Mark. If Google Maps isn't working for you, it's probably one of these things listed right here. I'm going to go through each of these in this video so we can figure out how to get Maps working again on your Android device. The first thing you want to check is your internet connection. If you're not connected to the internet and you haven't downloaded the map offline on Google, that could be the issue. So to do that, you go to your settings on your Android device. And then there's uh, two ways you can be connected to the internet. It's Wi-Fi or mobile data. So you, right up top, you click network and internet um, there. And then mine says the internet is connected. It's got the full bar, so I'm good there. Um, you could be on airplane mode. Maybe you just got back from a trip. You forgot to turn it off at airplane mode. We'll click on the internet button there. And you can see that I've got Google Fi enabled. It's got full bars, full coverage, so I'm good there. And then I am connected to one of my internet connections, so I'm good. So that's the first thing you check. On an iPhone, to check that, you're going to go into Settings and then click on Cellular Data and make sure you're connected there. On Google Maps, you can enable or disable the connection through the Maps app, not just on your phone. So to do that, you open Google Maps. You click on your profile picture and then you go down to settings there and there's a setting on there that says Wi-Fi only. So if that is toggled on and you're outside and there's not a Wi-Fi connection, that could be your issue. So you can toggle that on and off and it says you should know a small amount of data might be used. Keep that in mind. Got it. Um, so I've toggled it on to Wi-Fi only, but I'm going to turn that off because I like to use Google Maps outdoors where there's not Wi-Fi. So I just turn that off. So if you're connected and you're still not able to use Google Maps, you might want to restart the Google Maps app itself. So to do that, you go on, on your Android phone, you go into your settings there, and then you click apps there, and then you're going to find Google Maps. I got a, oh, that one's right up the top. And you can click for stop on there. So for stop. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm stopping it. Um, so I just for stop that. Then when you open it up again, it should restart the app for you. And that might fix your problem right there. So if that didn't work and you're still watching this video, you might want to just restart your phone. That's the classic one. You call up IT and they're like, have you tried restarting it? Have you tried plugging it in? So to do that on an Android phone, you can hold the power button and the up right there. And the menu will pop up and you can click restart. I'm not going to do that now, but you can clearly see there's a restart button. And then you can open up Google Maps and try it again. On an iPhone, you can restart that by holding the power button and volume up and down for a few seconds. And then you'll see an option to slide the phone off. So you've tried to restart it, tried the power button, checked your connection issues, all that, no problem, still not working. You might need to update Google Maps app on your phone. So if you need to update Google Maps, you're going to go to the Google Play Store on your phone. And then you're going to look at all the apps you have, find Google Maps, and update that one. So to do that, you click on your profile image and click on Manage Apps and Device. Um, looks like there's updates available. So some of my apps need updates. I don't see Google Maps on the list. If it was there, I could just click the Update button um, or I could just click Update All and it'll update all the apps on your device. So that could fix the problem right there. On an iPhone, you also open the App Store, you click on your profile, and you'll have the option to update right there. So if none of that's worked so far, you might want to clear the cache on your phone. You go to Settings, Apps, See All Apps, and then you got to find Google Maps. I got a bunch of them here. And then there's, there's an option called Storage and Cache. Um, and then you click Clear Cache. All right, so now the cache is cleared out. You can go back to Google Maps, see if it's working. If it's not, let's move on to the next thing to try. Another thing you can try is using incognito mode on Google Maps. So to do that, you open up Google Maps, you click on your profile image, and then there's an option called turn on incognito mode. So for some reason, this has worked for people when they're not able to use their sign-in version, they've used incognito mode. 
Something else you can try is to improve your location's accuracy. Uh, so to do that, click on your profile image, go down to settings, and then there's a location accuracy. Oh, it says your location accuracy is already optimized. I've already done that, so I'm good. You can also try to calibrate Google Maps. That could help too. So to calibrate on Google Maps, you're going to want to click on the circle or the blue icon on the bottom there. And I just did this, I showed in another video, so mine's all calibrated. But if you hadn't, there's, an, uh, there's a button there that says calibrate. You click on that, it's going to have you do this weird figure eight thing with your phone. Just make sure it's all synced up properly. Another option you can try is to download Google Maps offline when you do have an internet connection so that when you're outdoors, maybe your data is not working, you can still use Google Maps. So to do that, click on your profile image, go down to offline maps, and then you can select wherever you want to do this. So you can click select your own map. Um, you can zoom in or out, you know, whatever you want to go. Um, you can see this is the area you want to download. You're going to be hiking in the forest. You know you're not going to have Wi-Fi, data connection, etc. And then you just click download. So make sure you do that before you go. Also, a tip for downloading offline maps is when you do have a connection and you click driving directions, um, if your data turns off after you've already started the drive or the hike, whatever it is, your, the directions will continue even if you're offline. So just make sure you don't close down maps or you might lose that. So if none of that has worked and you still don't know where you're going, you could actually try a different app. So there's one called Google Maps Go, um, which I'm showing here. You can try that one. Maybe that'll work for you. And if none of that works, you might just want to get less stubborn and just ask someone for directions. I mean, that's the old school way to do it, right? Like pull into a gas station and ask someone for directions. Ever heard of that? I'm not very good at that either. Or you could try Apple Maps, but I like Google Maps way better. I hope these tips were helpful, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you again soon.